We call all of davening tefillah, but really when Chazal talk about tefillah, they mean the Shemon Esra. That's the core of the davening. The tefillah itself, the Shemon Esra itself, was created by the Amshay Knesset Sagadola. But the Gemara brings down that um, before we start the Shemon Esra, we should say the Pasuk that comes from Tehillim Nunalev, Hashem Svasai Tiftach Ophiyah Getela Sacha. Hashem open my lips and my mouth should say your praises. So the Avraham says that we're asking Hashem that our tefillah should come out smoothly. But why are we asking Hashem to open our lips? We're the ones who are davening, we're saying, we're speaking. What are we asking for here? So the word Adon means master. We're after Hashem, we're servants of Hashem, and whatever a servant owns really belongs to his master. The servant actually has no possessions whatsoever. We can choose what to feel or think or do, but we don't have control over our power, our capabilities to feel or think or do, or even to live. This is a concept that can be very difficult to accept, but it's one which is really being brought home to us loud and clear at the moment. We are not in control. At all. An introduction sets the tone for what is to follow. As we approach our tefillah, before we start, we acknowledge that even the motor skill to open our mouths and speak is enabled by God. We are acknowledging, in humility, that if Hashem didn't give us, give us the capability to open our mouths, we wouldn't even be able to pray. All we have is from Him. The Hafla brings a different explanation. He says that we should realize that we are speaking before the Creator of the world, the creator of us and of the world, the omnipotent, omnipresent, all-inspiring being. Just being in the present and having an audience with Hashem where we can speak directly to Him, that should instill in us such a sense of awe that it ought to render us speechless. We ought to feel the need for Hashem's help in opening our lips, in forming our thoughts into a smooth tefillah. So when we start davening, we should realize and appreciate the opportunity we have to daven before Hashem. And in addition, as we said, if we are conscious that it is Hashem who is opening our lips, then we will be completely connected to him and ready and able to daven. Ready to say his praise. So Hashem svasai tiftach, ufiyaget tehila secha.